Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers had made it to Eol and had found out that there's no one left in the city. There's there seems to be a seems to not have been any bloodshed or damage to the city itself, but everyone has vanished, which is most likely due to the Shardana. The our adventurers investigated the temple that's near Eol to see if anyone was there, which they found was empty. And then they went into the town of Eol to raid a few shops, check out the museum, sightsee, and then Aelrond also went to his old house to make sure that his parents weren't actually there, and to pick up a few things of his fa- uh, family history and stuff like that. So, where we left off, our adventures had all met up again after going a couple different ways, and you're all, the, all of you are standing in the central square in the city. Uh, when I approach them, I'm like, Alright guys, where to next? Uh, oh, um, I, I found this, uh, cool necklace in the bookstore, and I bring out the red skull, or ruby skull necklace. Um... <laughs> It, it says it has this uh, message spell ability, so I don't know if that might be useful to you, but I figure since I can talk in your mind, you should be able to try as well. <laughs> I love how you've just sprung this telepathy on us. You've never done this before, and now it's just normal? Well, I did it in your brain, uh, call you over. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was the first time you've ever done it, and you didn't even quite, you made it seem like it was totally normal, and it was not. At I this was point, horrified. I'm just coming to terms that I have things I don't know about that show up. Okay. I don't, I'm not even entirely sure what I do. Just next time, a little forewarning. It really freaked me out, okay? <laughs> okay next time I'll <laughs> scream and then do it. Fair. Do you want it? Fair. Um, and I would, I, I would obviously know that it's not real. From Yeah, it's not a real skull. Or yeah. not a real ruby at all. Yeah, and I would know that from living, yeah. From yeah. living here before. Okay. Does it actually cast a spell message, though? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's real? Okay. Okay. Um, I'll go... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, actually, that might be a uh, nice to have. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things. It's all for a good cause. Yeah, the people of you are pretty, pretty nice as well. So, goddamn, better be. We're saving their lives. <laughs> um, I'll take it and I, I will wear it, put it underneath my uh, clothes and armor. Okay, uh, the two of you can you just roll a perception check? Me and yeah. Uh, Twenty-two. Oh, that was a that was a spinning roll, dude. He got a glimpse of uh, another necklace that he didn't have before that he's wearing. But you don't think just just as he's putting on this new necklace, you just see a glimpse of it and maybe finds it a bit odd. What does it look like again? Uh, It's a. You said it was like emerald. Yeah, it's an emerald necklace that opens up and has a picture of his family in it. I wouldn't see the picture. Either. Yeah, you didn't see the picture. Just you just saw an emerald necklace. That's a fancy necklace you got under there. Did you always have that? Oh, did you see oh. it? Uh. And you also noticed that he has a different... Well, that he shield. might have a different shield and sword. Well, I mean, that would be pretty easy. Yeah, the shield thing. would be easily to tell the sword. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you went and did some pickings yourself, eh? I uh, went to the local blacksmith. I got a cool book. Divination. Pretty fancy, right? Oh, yeah, and he's wearing plate mail. Or uh, breastplate, too. Yeah, you went and raided a <laughs> fucking shop, didn't you, buddy? We were wondering where you went. We were worried, but you look fine to me. Oh, no. Everything's fine. Um, I just had a few places to check, that's all. Gotta love robbing the city of joy. <laughs> <laughs> joy to the world. Um, My mother's dead. <laughs> I wish you were an episode of Wretch. <laughs> <laughs> so, where, where are we? What's our plan of action? Where are we going to go? We well, said we we're going to go to you all, see if anyone's here. They're not. No here. We should head to the depths, get them back, you know? Well, we'd if we're going to take on the Shardana, we're going to need an army. And what I better see, city yeah. to have on your side than the City of Joy, also the militarized city <laughs> you all. I say, a, uh, good plan. we either go to the depths or we head for Kluth. Cloth. Cloth. What are... Honestly, I've been thinking about this. What are we going to do if we go to Cloth? Like, 
he is an army, and there are six of us. Five, actually, because Ruman left. Oh, I'm practically an army by myself. No, you're not. I know you like to think that, but you're really not. Because to have an army, you need multiple people, not just hey, one person. watch your mouth. Excuse me? <laughs> Don't make me ground you. <laughs> oh, I see, yeah, because I'm, I'm very funny. I'm 17. Yeah, whatever. Don't yeah. make fun of his weird magic disease and, uh... I think we should just go to the... Let's just go to the depths, because we're not going to be able to do anything against him. We need people. I swear to God, I'll burn you both. And <laughs> you should know just... Jesus. Uh, you should know just as well as anyone else that Eol is a great ally to have on your side. Can you roll a perception check, please? Blaze makes a good point, though. It would be helpful to have an army with us. Oh, that... I'll <laughs> take it. Go to, uh, 18. You see about 20 sets of footprints going north. To the central or to the northern gate. Oh, I would have told Missouri. him about that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm not keeping that a secret because okay. yeah. we were thinking uh, of going. Remember when I said yeah. we were just waiting for Aelorndel? Would <coughs> I know, like, would I know if there's anything in that direction notable, like that the steps would have gone to? Yeah, uh, there are Country. a couple small villages about, well, actually, first to the north, about five hours away, is the ship. I thought that was north of the temple, because you said northeast of the uh, temple, then north. Uh, I guess yeah, north north northeast of the town would be okay. the ship, and no then a few days march north of that is a, a small village, which is which you've been to a few times just to check out and whatever, and then a couple of days further is this further to the north east is the. Small city of Arist. What, uh, and the and a large lake. Um, would we know where the closest entrance to the depths would be? In his pocket. Well, that that takes us to a certain part. We don't yeah, know we that. Don't know so that. the yeah, closest guess. one that you know of is the one you went to near Stillsby. Uh, in yeah, the the closest entrance is near Stillsby. Um, but you did hear that there uh, is one to the north west of Ite and to the southwest of Ite. Okay. Yeah. It's um, the opposite of the continent now, though. Well, maybe uh best plan right now is we should head to the ship. Because if these footsteps went out, maybe they were survivors and maybe they went to the ship. Hid there. Worst comes to worst. If there's no one there, then we can head down using the stone. All right, fine. That's fair. Let's uh, let's do that. I'm just only worried because it could be that it's Chardana footprints because there was exactly. about twenty sets of footprints. There's no way oh. twenty people are gonna branch off from the main path and like we'll somehow escape. Um, no matter. You also do know that you have the transportation stone that yes. takes you to the shrine in the mountains near Ait, the one of the unknown goddess, with all the statues all around it. Yes. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, I say we head to the uh, the ship. I agree. I think that's the best course of action, like you said. Find survivors, maybe. Worst comes worst, we just squeeze your little rock and head on down. I don't think we're going to find survivors, but fine. Or if I they're mean. Shardana, we can vent some frustration. We could. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I thoroughly enjoyed massacring that camp. I hate these guys. They're douchebags. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Let's show them what the goddess of joy is all about, then, right? Woo woo! No. I'll oh. show them what I'm about. Not what okay. some nope. make-up being in the sky thinks. Okay, that's not what I meant, but fine. That's fine. Yep, let's go. <laughs> Ryan's like, maybe there'll be children. <laughs> <laughs> there could be kids, Spice. <laughs> we have to go after them. You know, Lazarus strokes his bow. I don't care. <laughs> There's monsters to kill. I'll kill them. Okay. Also, I've begun a small collection of leaves. <laughs> I want your opinions. This one has little frills. This one's straight and smooth. This one's a little jagged. Which one fits me best? Oh, oh can I see those? <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. It was a joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are heading north and following the footprints. Yeah. So roll a survival check as you follow them, please. Easy. Do I have advantage because I have a wolf? Your wolf could... Because he's hearing and smell. 
Are you able to communicate? <laughs> I your die. Well, I've tr- with your slowly <laughs> trained him over time. Like, so. I mean, are you able to understand what he's thinking or saying or anything Well, I'll like let that? him lead the way if he wants. Yeah. So this this isn't you just track the tracks because it's pretty easy to track 20 footprints. Okay, fine. I got uh, a 14. 14. I got a 10. 10. Survival? Uh, 18 plus 2, 20. So... You're pretty sure these footprints are maybe two, two, maybe three days old, and you think it's around two and a half days old. And I think nothing. They're You're not sure exactly yeah. when these would be from. Not yeah. that old footprints, only two, two and a half days at most. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere between that. Say two so to three. we could say the attack happened two, two and a half days ago. That's that's good. We're not too far behind then. If only we used the first wish to come down here sooner. Then you would have kept a, an abyssal wretch. Yeah, great party member. Scares people away. Super weak. Super ugly. Super ugly. Definitely ugly. Every time I look at you, I kind of see it sometimes. I also apparently see it sometimes <laughs> when I look at myself. It's more of a moment. I think the proper term for that is post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> That's you. Come on. Oh my god. Are you serious? That's fucking okay. like this is like middle ages. They're not gonna have names for <laughs> yeah. stuff like, like that. Like you said, like oh, that's very like. You got me. <laughs> this is very like post-traumatic. It might be like we're looking at a uh, six here, boys. Uh, so, you see him just fall unconscious. He just falls to the ground. So dumb. Oh my god. And Uh, while you're unconscious, you see your old master. And he says to you... You're done. (laughs) (laughs) It's right on par with his personality. He says to you, Blaze, keep on your path and beware and then he fades and you wake up you okay there buddy anyway let's go to the ship <laughs> feeling a little weird bluesy you telling me you had okay he kind of smacked it really hard when he fell yeah are you i right? had but him <laughs> so feel okay <laughs> you had buddy my brass mask yeah okay. fucking hit you right in the face yeah i just slammed my face in his it feels fine let's go Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you alright? I'm fine. What happened? I saw some shit I didn't feel like seeing today. Can we please go? Um, okay. Can I, like, insight? Yeah. Mm. 17. Uh, it seems like the same thing that, that happened to you. Okay, that was, like, just, like, my main. I do seem genuinely upset, though. Okay. I'm not gonna question it too much, because I, I figure that he saw some stuff that you didn't want to. Like, I did. Um... All right. Good enough for me. Uh, let's let's continue on. Let's carry on my wayward son. I'll I'll. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that in character. No. I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dumb rule. I think I'll take the. I'll I'll lead you guys. It's I... not just a rule. It's something in game. Okay. You guys are uh, a little weird. Yeah, I'll I'll take the front. And okay. Stay more alert. Uh, so you travel for a long ways following this path, and it seems to, um, seems to be going, seems to be following the path that is mainly to a wrist, and this is a path that goes through some forest area, and it's a pretty well-trodden path. You don't see anyone on this path as you go by, just because... No one is coming from Eol on the path or really anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So you travel for about five hours or four hours, I guess, and you see this ship in the middle of this opening in, in, in the forest. And it's just like a, it seems like a very old ship that's just lying on the ground straight up. And you can see the flag that's on it still. And the flag is... Yeah, the flag is of a waning gibbous moon on a field of black with silver stars in different constellations. It's a nice flag. Definitely is. 
And it's not a image that you recognize from anywhere. And you s- you notice that there's no actual name on the ship anywhere. Well, who um, wants to be the first one to go in? I'll go in. You've probably been on this ship multiple times. Like, yeah. there's an entire festival that is around this ship. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I was, I'll head in as well. I've been here quite a bit in my past. I'm going to go in okay. stealthily. Don't want to be seen first. I'm just going to pull out my uh, long sword. I'm just going to walk in. Okay. No stealth about it, dude. Why? What if ah. it's enemies? Ah, dude, they're dead. I'm going in stealthy. Okay. You also notice that the footprints go past the ship. Oh, well, they go past the ship. They, they stopped at the ship and then went past. I'm going to go into the ship stealthily and look. Okay. I'm going to walk in, long sword in my hands, ready to swing that bad boy. Okay. Yeah, I'll pull out, I'll pull out my staff and follow behind Arendelle. Okay. And I'm pulling out my, uh, this long sword, not the family one. Okay. Yeah, so you enter the ship, you stealthily, you with weapons drawn, and you don't see anyone in there. Uh, you enter this... Fr- the main area in the hull where the people have been entering since since it is found. And you see that uh, there's a few areas where you can just sit down and whatever. There, you can also, there's also stairs up to the main deck and through there to the cabin's course and the crewmate's course. Well... No one here. Waste of time. Um, I I call out. I'm like, hello? Is anyone here? Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, wasting our time, we're here, yeah. <laughs> you get no other response. Okay. Awesome. I Give up, Ailerdell. I'm sorry, but it's yours. They took everyone. We have to go. We have to go get them. Everyone's gone. Yes. We'll find them in the depths, though. I yeah, mean, yeah. where else would well, anyone have hidden out if not here? Well, I'm assuming we all saw the steps carry on, right? Or was that yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. I'm assuming well, this was a patrol looking for anyone trying to hide. Definitely could be it. Um, I just thought we would try our luck. Do you um, want to keep going? I, who knows how long these tracks go on for? We came in two days late. We we're theoretically like three three days behind this. I think our time's better spent trying to bring the people back. Heading down back to the depths. But that's just my thought. What do I know? I'm 17. <laughs> well, you're yeah, as we, sassy as a 17 year old. We should have brought that old man with us and he could just cast oh, Wish at Will. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would have died, though. He, would have cast wish he also just times. wouldn't have come, but yeah. There's also the chance of some wishes that you can't cast Wish ever, ever after. 33% chance. Yeah. Rough. And it's a long recovery after Wish. Like, his strength Two after the long days. rest was still, like, three or four. So he's super feeble. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, next step is head to the depths. Yeah, I mean, that's my plan anyway. I want to get down there as soon as possible. Deal with this so, issue. For going there, how do we want to get down there? Should I squeeze my stone? Squeeze your stone, man! Just fucking get out of here. Let's go. I'll pull out my stone. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have to be touching each other for all of us to go, or if it doesn't it create a portal? Me. Yeah, it creates a portal. Oh yeah. Um. Okay, I'll close my eyes and I'll just squeeze the stone. Okay, a portal opens up in front of you. I. Well, who uh, has to be the first one? I, I walk r- through. I rush in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I sprint in after them. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my long sword out ahead, and I'm gonna like charge through. Okay. Yeah, at the ready. I just walk through. And <laughs> yeah, I just sprint in after. Okay, you run through and you enter the same place in the depths that you were in before, in this big chamber where there are about three levels: one that goes down about a hundred feet, one that's about fifty feet. And then the main level that you're on right now. Oh, would you show back up there? Or? Yeah. Okay. And you see that there's still the... You see, you actually see a few different demon-like folk and... A few demon-like folk and also a few rudderkin here. Alive? Yeah. Ew. Long time no see. I'm going to fucking kill these things. So roll a perception check, everyone. Do they notice us, or...? 
Not yet. Uh, uh 23. Eight. Five. <laughs> okay, so you count a total of five, no, uh, six Rudderkin, and you also see, uh, you see, uh, three Dretch, and... What? I didn't see that. Dretch, right there. Oh, okay. Beautiful. They're so beautiful. They're okay. <laughs> They're so handsome. And about six mains. Yeah, that's a lot. That's so much stuff. Six plus twelve, that's fifteen things. Did they notice us yet? They have not yet noticed. I immediately they're go they're not the smartest. I go into things. stealth mode immediately. Okay. Are they in like the pits or are they on the main level? Uh they're walking around. There are a couple in the pits and then uh, so there are about five of them down on the lowest level of the pits. There are three on the second level. There are four on the main level you're at. And then you see a few others at the mouth of the cave or the opposite end of the cave. What What's on the level with us? Uh, the level you're on is the three. And then there the are... Three dretch? Uh, yeah, or... Two dretch and one rudderkin. Okay. Uh, what's in the room that we're in? Or space? Uh, is it, it just empty space, or is there stuff I can hide behind really the quick? Probably blasted debris. Of yeah, like there's dynamite blue. Yeah, there's lots of blasted de- debris. There's also the jail cells that you had your new, the friend you made go and explode. <laughs> uh, That's a good time. The Ferdinand friend. Uh, yeah. Dude, that was. And there's dude, like the the headquarters right there too. Okay, as we come through the portal, I'll just like exploded. like pull everyone back and I'll yank okay. them in towards the jail cells. Okay. And we'll hide in there for a minute and be like, okay, there's a lot more than I'm comfortable taking on right now. Uh, well, I agree. This is not really our main event to kill everything in here. We're just here to find people. Yeah, and there will be no one here. This is the place we cleared out already. I feel like this is yeah. just the dregs that wandered into the open door. This is no challenge. Um, There are three dredges, uh, six rudderkin, and six mains. Yeah. So... It's not a matter of how hard they are to kill, it's a matter of they outnumber us quite a lot. Yes. There are only five of us, six if you count uh, Lovecraft, but I mean... And no then, one counts them. Yeah, and there's 15, that doubles our numbers. Easy. Actually, times by three. Easy money. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Listen here, Mr. Bloodthirsty. This You gotta think about the bigger picture. We're not here to kill everything in here. We're here to find people to save, to fight Artemis, to destroy the man you're hunting. We need an army. So we need to go. We need to find these people as quick as we can. We need to save them. We don't care about these other things, right? They're petty little beasts. I would love to kill those Rudderkin myself. Very, very go Like, just graphically, just demolish their entire being and dust but they're unimportant right now yeah but we can't risk it because what happens if i get fucking turned into an abyssal wretch again i'm not doing that shit are you kidding me no a waste of energy you need to be smart you also do see there are some remains left of the headquarters of the Fardana. It, about half of it was blown up the other half is still in somewhat working condition and you know that these depths is where our El- alcaro still lives just Past the other point, though. Mm. At the ops direction. Love that guy. I hate um, that guy. Alright, well, we need to figure something out. Is there any way we can get out without drawing attention? Is there, like, a back door that we can head in, like, this direction? Or do you have the map of this area still? Yeah, I'll see if I can find it real quick. Would I have been able to look into the depths when I was in, like, my uh, dead state? Because I didn't actually think about that. No, I, don't I don't think you think did, so. though. Huh? I think you, you can only see what's on the surface. Okay. Because you couldn't look into any shops. That's true. It was just like above. Yeah. I was just curious. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, just freehanded. So the only way out is straight through the towards the main entrance that we came in before, right? So we have to yeah. go through the red or So you'd have to go through everything over again. All chambers? Yeah, if, like you want to, if you wanted to leave through that way, you do have the portal that you could just warp out of. I thought we were on like the, the top floor. Are we on the bottom one? No, we you're on the top. So we don't need to go through the levels. We can just go straight, right? Because the, the levels go down to downwards. Yeah, it only goes down to a certain point because that's where they are mining. Yeah, but I want to get to the main entrance and like further in the depths, so we don't need to go down, right? We just go straight through. Like There's no other entrance. That's like, what I mean. Like there's The entrance like, comes in like the, the, 
everything that you explored in the depths before, that was the entirety of that section of the depths. There's no other ways out that you noticed. Oh, I mean, I want to get out of this prison area. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, that's what I mean. I don't have to go through, like, level yeah, one, no, two, three. No, I can just go through the exit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, So we can just avoid detection. We're fine. And there's no, like, back entrance way out of the prison. No. Well, fuck. Shit, what do we do? How many of them are on the main level? Uh, there were three, what, two Rudderkin, one Dretch, and then... There are two that are nearby the main headquarters building, and then there are three near the entrance. Can we tell what they are? Yep. Uh, One is the Rodgerkin, and one is... uh, No, the ones that are near the headquarters are the two Rodgerkin. Then the the three on the other side are the Dredges. No, I have an idea. Uh, These beasts are probably not that intelligent... What if we made a really loud noise in the bottom level that might attract them to go down to that space, and then their point of view would be blurred as we're up high? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, we can no bypass them easily. I like that. But do we have anything that can make a loud noise down there? I don't have anything really. Um, I could climb down and fire my rifle. It? Well, uh, I don't know if like we can technically do this, but Ryan should have thumb. Thaumaturgy? Yeah. Yeah, whatever it is. Like, it, you should have that. He's used it before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he does have thaumaturgy. So, you could just... Because you can, like... Because that lets you, like, create noises and, like, speak loudly and stuff, right? So... Yeah. Yeah. You should really have gotten all the character sheets. <laughs> People missing. Uh, but, yeah. So, I mean, if we are allowed to have him do that... But he's not technically here, so I don't know. Yeah, he can do it. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, then I think yeah. we should have him do that. Um... Hey, don't worry, boys. I can cast thaumaturgy down there in the bottom. Make a loud boom. It'll be fucking great. As long as there's no kids. I don't even know what the accent is anymore, bro. It went from Irish, Scottish, somewhat to whatever the fuck this is. He just shouts, I love my brother. I love thaumaturgy almost as much as I love my brother. Uh, So he'll kind of sneak towards where you can actually see the bottom level, and he'll cast Thaumaturgy at a spot in the center of the bottom level. Nice. Just like a large large boom that Whoa. echoes throughout. It's really loud. And you do see that a, about 90% of these demons do actually start going towards the ledge and start either climbing down or just jumping down because a couple of them are extremely stupid. I like those odds. How many are left up top now with us? Uh, just two of them. Which two? There's the uh, one Rudderkin at the headquarters and one Rudderkin at the far end. Perfect. I feel much the better about our odds now. I mean, As do I? Do you want to try and sneak by? Or I personally, I would love to rip the head off of one of them. <laughs> yeah, but we we can do that later. We don't want to put think everything down there back up. Maybe Fair. it's best if we try to stealth by. Worst right. comes to worst, we fight him. We can take him on. But if we can avoid fighting them, we can try to get our way through here as okay. quickly as possible. I agree. Best plan. If I may, since you get to cast Thaumaturgy, could technically we have Lazarus cast Path Out of Trace? Oh. Because that'd be super helpful. Uh, the only thing uh, is, like, if we start doing this... like Yeah, then we were kind of... Yeah, let me just check Path Out of Trace. The difference is he does have his character sheet here. Yeah, so. I just want to know uh, if it's somatic... It is. Well, I mean, not, uh, n- not somatic vocal. It, uh, that's what I mean, yeah, it is vocal. I can just run. No. I can throw uh, my Pass out of trace, it's through. vocal, somatic, and material. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll allow him to cast that at the same time that Duncan, I mean, Ryan casts Thaumaturgy, so that it kind of masks. masks the sound of him saying it. Yippee! Okay, six, so we have plus ten the stealth rolls. Yep. Nice, and... Ryan technically uh, isn't he doesn't he have a disadvantage for self? No. I thought it was his armor. He has, he has his mithril. mithril armor. Which oh. means he doesn't have disadvantage. Yes. That is right. So a plus ten. Plus yeah, 10. so it's literally like so impossible to fail. I'm gonna add quickly it on run to up. Where is my map is. Oh, okay. So this is the room you're in. So okay. this is the jail cells. Headquarters, okay. the jail cells is all back here. Right. And then where are these Redicans? Uh they're is 
one now here and one now here. Okay. Okay. So what we should do is everyone will head on this right exit here. Make our way around the edge so this guy doesn't really have a chance. And then we'll see if we can try and sneak by this one. Or worse comes to worse, we Just could probably easily him. take it out. Just silence him. Yes. I agree. As long as we sneak up on him, we, sh we should be able to get the upper hand. Let's make it happen. All it. right. So we're going to make our way down the right exit here and all the way around the right. Okay. Being very stealthy. I will roll for Lazarus. It's 11. So. so for me, I rolled 18 plus 7. <gasps> I got a natural 20. Plus 10 is 35. So if you were to count all that other crap, it would be 32. Lazarus yeah, rolled a 2. Plus 14. 14. 6 is 8. Plus 10 is 18. So 35 for me, 18 for Lazarus. Ryan rolled 17. Because I'm pretty sure he has nothing in stealth. Farron is seen. What'd you roll? Fuck. 13. <laughs> or 14 in total. Oh, yeah. In total? Oh, I rolled a 3. So... <laughs> Fair and seen, like, does he cause a... Yeah, from so, the Rudderkin that is right here starts to hear movement, and you guys are about right here right now. That, mm -hmm. That's where you start out, and it starts to scurry towards where you guys are at, <laughs> and... <laughs> is it making any noise? You do hear the noise of him scurrying. So we notice it's going for him? You hear it coming towards you guys. You, uh, it hasn't seen you yet. It just heard you from uh, well, the headquarters. We should, we should take hurry. advantage of this and then... Hurry. We should hurry and get out of here. I want to see Try us. to outrun him. Try to outrun him. He's probably very slow. Or if we all used like, our stealth attack. Yeah, but if we make too much commotion here, all those beasts down there are going to come racing towards um, us. And we have a bigger fight on our hands. The point uh, here is to avoid to... combat. I'm gonna attack it. Shit. I'm gonna attack it. Okay. It's right. coming. I can see that's coming from, so I'm gonna jump out of like my hiding spot and I'm gonna whip both my daggers at it for my first attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just roll to hit. Don't know. Oh, more than kinds. I'll be right back. I need the uh, more than kinds book. Okay. Yeah, I whip <laughs> both my daggers at it. I haven't rolled yet. I waited for you to come back. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, feel free to. Since I'm coming out of hiding, do I get advantage? Sure. Okay. Can I also attack? Sure. Um, so like, the fuck. The like first one is eight plus seven is fifteen. Yeah, I'll give you guys all a round of surprise. Okay. Right? okay. Uh, may I go first then? Yep. Yeah. No. Okay. So fifteen to hit for the first one. That hits. Okay, and the second one is eighteen to hit. Eighteen. Yeah, both hit. Okay. Cool. So that is six plus one, so seven damage for the first one. Okay. And then seven damage for the second one. And then for my extra attack, I'm going to use Cat's Claws on it. So I get an extra attack action. So I'm going to slice at him with my claws. That is a 12 to hit. Wow. 12 misses. Oh, wait. No. Four, 13. <gasps> that hits. Yeah, because it's 6 plus 7. Right? Wow. That's 13? Yes. Yes. Okay, then it is. Okay, cool. Perfect. Congrats. So that's a D6 plus my dex. Bro. Two... Plus four, six damage. Six, okay. Perfect. And I'm going to spend a key point and use Flurry of Blows. So after my attack action, I can make two more unarmed strikes. Bro, did you really just do that? So first one is 17 plus 7 is 23. Yep. And the second one is natural 20. Yep. Okay. So first one is a d6 plus my dex, 1 plus 4, so 5 damage. And then the next one, do I roll 2 dice or do I just double my dice? Roll 2 dice. Next one is 6 plus dex for nine, 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. Additional 10 damage. Okay. And I spent a key point, but that's my turn. Okay, so you hear this coming, and you're pretty free about exactly when it's going to come around the corner. So you throw one dagger, you throw the other, well, you throw one dagger, you run, you throw the other as you're running, both hit him. And then you catch up to him enough and you're able to start punching and punching and kicking his ass. And he looks extremely hurt by this. And and I just kind of like, with my final attack, I just like yeah. slice his back and like okay. push him towards Alan Adel for his, his okay. surprise attack. And he was 100% surprised about this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so so is he like close enough for me to attack with my longsword? Uh, after running, you are, yeah. Yeah, you'd have okay. to... You have to... 
And yeah. To the- uh, well, no, he came around the corner, right? He came in through here. You're saying? We went out here. No, but he caught us trying to move yeah, here. He caught us yeah. over there. Yeah. He us over there. No, he, he came in here, and then you made a noise while we were moving that way, yeah. so he rushed at us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> then uh, I'm gonna rush at him, and I'm gonna attack with my long sword. Then. Okay. Um. So just roll to hit. Yep. And then, uh, do I get advantage since we're yeah. okay? Sweet. Uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. 17 and then plus good. whatever. Sweet. So then I'm gonna hit him. Oh, oops. Sorry, that was a d6. So then that's seven plus four is 11. So 11, um, slashing damage and then, uh, one, uh, poison necrotic. Necrotic. Yeah. yeah. So how are you killing him? Nice. Oh. Um, well, since, like, I kind of, like, charge towards him a little bit, I go with my sword, and I'm gonna, like, bring it up over to my left and kind of bring it around my head a little bit and slash diagonal. Oh, so, like, I kind of, like, run, and I, like, use the momentum of my sword around, and I go, whoop, yeah, and I bring it I push him forward, down. so he's, like, stumbling right into that, too. Nice. Yeah, so then I, like, just kind of, like, slash down across his body. Yeah, yeah. so he's going towards you, you're going towards him, you have yeah. this awesome power built up, and you just slash down... And you cut him, like, right through. Ooh. And his rotten flesh just, like, fa- falls off. Nice. Uh, Nailed it! Oop! I didn't say that in character. That might be an expression. I, uh, I immediately, like, spread my hands. I'm like, shut up! And I, I listen. Do I hear any, like, anyone approaching? No, you don't. Okay, I think we're good. I sheath my long sword, and I was like, um... I retrieve my daggers... And then stab the Redican six times in the face. <laughs> and then I sheathe my daggers. <laughs> Why six times? Uh, I keep pr- my staff out and at the ready. Okay. I just hold it in front of me with both hands. All right, let's keep going. Be quiet, Baron. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, I just roll one more stealth check as you try to make your way around. So for me, that's 17 plus 7 is 23 plus 10 is 33. For Lazarus... 16 plus uh, 26 and then for Ryan natural one <laughs> plus 10 is 11 um 28 I gotta re-roll <laughs> uh that's 15 yeah well I rolled a three and then oh. a two and then a 10 this time Ryan is heard so you make it most of the way around so you're around here now you've gone a long ways pretty easily and then Ryan just stumbles on some of the debris that is nearby and... Oh, these like, fucking the rocks! <laughs> <laughs> and the Redican that is right here notes, notices him. You guys are enough in the shadows that you're not being seen, even though this entire place is shadows. Just let him get consumed. But you're, like, trying to stay near the big uh, pieces of wreckage. Yeah. In order to make it seem like maybe you are a part of the wreckage or stuff like that. Okay. But Ryan has been seen. I uh, it, I wait for the Rudderkin to approach Ryan. <laughs> and he starts, the Rudderkin starts to uh, charge at Ryan. How close I do he? the same thing as last time. I fucking unload on okay. this guy. I'm going to yeah, take out my staff. I'm just going to point it like a, like a long rifle right at uh, the Rudderkin. Um, I'll cast Firebolt. Is that noisy? Because we're trying I to guess, be stealthy. Yeah. That's true. I don't really have anything that's not stealthy in terms of... Oh, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it. <laughs> I just won't do anything. Yeah, Firebolt is vocal. Okay, yeah, I won't do uh, All right, that's okay. Alien Del can, and I can take this fucking guy. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm going to whip both my daggers at this one as well. Okay. So, do I get advantage again, or? Yeah, because he doesn't see you. First one is 22. Yep. Second one is 16. Okay, uh, both hit. Okay, perfect. So, the first one... Is... After these two hits, you won't have advantage, though. Okay, that's six damage. Okay. And then the second dagger is... Oh, nice. Six plus three is nine damage. Nine, okay. Cool. And then uh, I will use my extra attack to use my cat's claws on him. Not advantage. Uh, nine plus seven again is 16. Yeah, it hits. Okay, perfect. So cat's claws is 1d6 plus dex. Two plus... Da- four da- uh, no, six damage. Four plus two is okay. six. Cool. And then I will spend another key point, and I'll use Flurry of Blows to make two unarmed strikes. Uh, it's 22, and natural 20. Yep. Okay, so 
First one is seven damage, and the next one is twelve damage. You kill him. So yes. how do you? How are you killing him? Uh, so are you doing? I just kind of like like roll out from on the rock and I whip both my daggers like at the same time like towards his head and then I rush in as he's like stumbling and I just do one quick cross the chest and then one across the throat and then I snap his fucking neck. <laughs> cool. That exact thing happens. Excellent. Wow. And I, I turn to uh, Ryan and I go, God fucking damn it, we <laughs> I said be quiet, you little shit. <laughs> I thought there were kids present. <laughs> yeah. I love you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I just go to the exit. Yeah, you're able yeah. to get to okay. The hallway here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Is there anything else down the hallway? Uh, it goes to the next rooms. Which are rooms you've been in before. Uh, and that's like the town and shit? So you leave this section here to this hallway here. This area is where you had fought the fire methods before. I oh, think. right, 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 right. And then from there it goes to the small uh, gnome village. Deep Gnome Village. Deep Gnome Village. Do you think maybe we could get some help from the Deep Gnomes? I know they weren't very friendly last time, but we need to get to a different part of the depths. Or I mean, anything's worth a shot at this point. <laughs> you know, it's not... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> How amazing. I love this. I love it. What'd you say, Farron? I said anything's worth a shot at this point. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can just exit back with your rock, right? Yeah. And then we could try and make our way to another entrance. <laughs> I don't like that. Don't worry. <laughs> you, can't just, you can't just roll like that and then expect us not to worry. Um, I say we make our way into town, uh, try and find another way into another section of the depths. I'm sure the Deep Gnomes would know much more about the place than I personally do. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, we enter the Gnome Village. Okay, yeah, so you first go through the first part here, and you don't encounter any monsters of any kind. Okay, cool. Uh, there are just all the slactites and slagmites there. But you go through there and make your way to the mm-hmm. town, and uh, you're just at the edge of town and able to see that there are actually some deep gnomes just walking around and should, stuff like that. Should we um, stealth so we don't, like, not, like, Fully stealth, but like try to not to like attract attention to ourselves. Because I remember last time, uh, when we were all down here, we tried to like cover our faces and stuff for the most part because it's like odd that there's just like a random group of. I'm wearing a brass mask and a hood up, so I'm pretty. And do you still have the pass of the to trace? Yeah, yeah, that lasts for an hour. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So, yeah. Yeah, you and I probably did look all right. I just realized I had thoughts and I had prayers on my hand. <laughs> I could have done so much more damage. Bro, you fucking murdered him. Yeah, I know, but it would have been doper to pulverize him. Okay, so <laughs> how do we want to take this? I mean, none of us speak gnomish. <laughs> Dude, and no. right? None of do any of us speak gnomish? This is important. No, I No. Roll a history check. 18. You remember seeing Gnomish writing on one of the books that Elrendal was checking out earlier? Oh, no. Were you reading a Gnomish book the other in the wizard's cabin, though, Elrendal? I remember seeing you doing. I saw you do that. No. You I even was, tried to show it to me. No, I was uh, trying to see if I could understand it, but I couldn't figure it out. Like I said, I was just going through a bunch of different books. I would like to insight check. Sure. Just deception. Just deception. All right. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I got the. Natural 20. (laughs) (laughs) I rolled a 19! (laughs) (laughs) Yes, dude! Name drop! Yes! Uh, All right. (laughs) You deceive him. All right. This is so important, Tony. (laughs) Dude, I'm... Dude, that's embarrassing, dude. (laughs) Bro, you want to... Okay, whatever. All right, but I guess we're... we're, we're, Didn't we speak to some of them last time, though? So they speak common. I think we'll be fine. I hope they do, yeah. I uh, I make my way into town, and I'm gonna. Okay. I follow. I'm gonna yeah. try and find like a a, a friendly looking deep no. <laughs> yeah, who did we talk to last time we were down here? Uh, we got one of the shop owners. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't we get smuggled through the city? No, that was the other city. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alcaro helped you guys get through here though, because the deep gnomes usually make sure to stay away from him, so they were kind of wary of him, but 
less wary than they would be of just tr- random travelers. Can I find the sh- same shop we went to last time? Yeah, you're eas- you're pretty easily able to find your way there. Uh, there's two shops you went to last time. One was just a blacksmith shop, which I think maybe Ryan just went to. And then so. the other was the an alchemy shop, or like just goods store, I think. Okay, I'm going to go to that store. Okay. I'll go in with him. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna go Ryan, place. Lazarus, you guys wait out here. Uh, <laughs> I miss my family. <laughs> you open the store and uh, you're greeted uh-oh. by this deep gnome woman who recognizes you guys as the people who tried to rip her off. What? What? Yeah, you guys were trying to, well, you guys were trying to bargain super low for every single thing you're trying to buy from her. I wasn't a part of that. You were. Oh, it wasn't. I didn't buy anything from the deep gnomes. I specifically. That's where you guys got. Well, we're going to get an invisibility potion. That was a while ago. That wasn't me. I didn't get the invisibility potion from her. I I specifically remember not bartering because I just gotten caught trying to steal a sword and I was like (laughs) on my best behavior, so I didn't try and barter anything. I remember that. I I don't recall. One of us fucked her over. Yeah, pretty sure it was one of you two. Probably. It was it was Aeon at all. Was it me? Yeah, because Tony, it's such a you thing. You were, you were trying to get a greater invisibility potion, but she wasn't budging on price. And then we found it later that it was actually a lot Super more expensive. expensive. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All right. Um. Whatever. I don't care. So she greets you guys saying, "Ah, oh, here to try to steal some more of my goods, eh?" No, actually, uh, we're trying to find another section of the depths. You should watch your tone. <laughs> yeah, and actually, I'm going to close the door. I'm like, I'm actually, to be completely honest, I'm really low on patience today. I've had a long couple of days. I just need some help, and we'd love it if you could give us some directions or any kind of option to find another section of the depths. Do you also still have that Can you? potion first? So Dad was calming her down. Yeah. And then when you say that, she just says... I just asked if she had it still. How much are you willing to pay this time? How, how much did she How much did she say it was for last time? I think a hundred, but... Recently, I've had someone come in and do a, uh, an appraisal of the potion, actually, and it's worth uh, 30,000 no fucking pieces or something. You know, actually, how much are you, are you selling it for? It'll be a thousand gold pieces. A thousand? Oh, it is by no means worth that much. Have you had it appraised? <laughs> no. Okay, well, lucky for you. Listen, you I guys! Man and I'm, I'm going to interject here. Uh, no, I we don't, don't have fucking time for this. <laughs> Just hold on, it'll take Leave the lady alone, we need her help. While we're huddled, I put on the glasses of uh, <laughs> disguise. <laughs> And hope that she doesn't, doesn't recognize me. You're right in front of her. But we like kind of like we like Blaze pulled us in, and he's like whispering to us. So we're kind of huddled. So as we're like he's talking, I just like slip him on. Not right now. I'm walking up to the counter to appraise this thing. Potion of invisibility is okay. very rare. She does not recognize you. Okay, sweet. Um, but these guys know I have it, right? I think I've never yes. seen you. They're just like. Yeah, I put it on when I, when I first got him. Yeah, you were scared that there was just a random person in your tent. In the, in the tent. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. So would they know that it's me? I think you explained that it was you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sweet. It should be between 5,000 and 50,000 gold pieces. Okay, she'll say it's 5,000 gold pieces. Now, allow me to appraise, as I have been one trained in such matters, and I will walk up and I'll use my little, like, magnifying glasses that are on my... Uh, mask, and I'll just kind of flip him so it looks like I know what I'm doing. And I'll go on a bit, mm, yes, and I'll give it a little ting as well, and I want to just try and deceive her in that I know how to. Uh, it'll be with be, it'll be with disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yeah. Why? Because she knows we're trying to yeah. fucking scam her! Yeah. 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 This is stupid. Okay, whatever. No, you try to praise us this Shut stupid. up! Hold on. I ha- I'm gonna have to work so hard to fucking smooth this over, bro. So that's 10. She got a 14 plus 2, so 16. Whatever, She's not man. having any of your shit. I don't care anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> Miss, please don't uh, ignore them. Please. I. I... She give, she's giving the two of you the stink eye. Who? <laughs> okay, fine. Just <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough? <laughs> don't remember that guy, what? 
Listen, ignore them. We're not here for that. We really could use your help. We need to find another way to another section of the depths if you know any other kind of entrances or if there are any items in town we could use or anything. I'll, I'll pay you for information if that's what you want. I've never traveled through any of the other parts of the depths, just around here and the tunnels all around near here. Do you know of anyone we could talk to? None, not really, no. Most of us do the same thing. Most of us have just explored around the area here. She's Haven't been angry to any other parts of the depths. She's angry with us. Can I see if she's lying? Sure. Yeah. I doubt it, I'm but I'm going to well. say. I rolled in a 16 plus 2, 18. I got a 3, so. She being honest? You don't think she's lying. Ah. Uh, perhaps, uh, and I turned to the rest, and I th- thank you, uh, and I turned to the others, I'm like, perhaps Alcaro could help us? I don't know, we never really talked to him about going to another section. So. Oh, God, you really run out of patience knows. here. I say we just beat it out of her. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. She's gotta know something. Honestly, she she knows like that you're... attitude. <laughs> you... Uh, no, we're not beating the deep gnome lady up. We're leaving the shop. We're not please buying. Please leave it. the. Sh- please leave the shop. We are Shut leaving. Up, we're Fuck you. Here. Leave the shop. Shut up, hey, Farron. We can't cause issues here. Please restrain yourself. And uh, I'm gonna. Oh my god, bro! No, why'd you do that, Baron? Why'd you roll a die? <laughs> leave the shop. I don't want you here. It's not worth it. I don't want to fucking be here. Uh, we're trying to leave. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna exit. Um, I yeah, if we go, I go to exit as well. I'm like, good day to you, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I'll exit last, and I'll just slam the door real hard. Okay. Um, I can't. She seems answer. dumbstruck that you appeared there <laughs> when you weren't there before. <laughs> I take off my glasses and to get outside. Okay. Um, what the fuck was that, you two? I specifically said, we're just getting information, don't cause trouble. I'm sorry, I just got so caught up in her annoyance. Yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't that cool. I didn't like her attitude, she's being rude. Yeah, plus, she marketed up her invisibility potions. Yo, know, one day I'm That's gonna go back and I'm gonna burn her. I've traveled her. all of Tarthania for many, well, most of Tarthania for many years. Trust me, that's the normal price for a potion of invisibility. If only I knew that back then. Why? How much was she asking last time? I think, I think it was around one one fifty gold, Fucking or like two hundred or something. It was like super yeah, cheap, something like that. Oh, bad luck, buddy. That's oh, yeah, that yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. a hell of a steal. All right. Well, where do we go now? Uh, the best bet is either we return to the surface, find another entrance, or do we go to Alcaro see if he knows anything at all. I say we go to Alcaro. Yeah, let's go to Alcaro. He better be nice. <laughs> He, he's good friends with well he doesn't like me but uh we're good friends with everyone else it should be fine i don't like deep gnomes me, neither do i buddy they're a bag of dicks can you say that a little quieter we're in a <laughs> fucking city full of them bag of dicks. yes excellent uh, we're going to make our way to el caro okay so you're able to leave the city since well this community because it's not a city really uh, because you're able to still slink through shadows, so a few deep gnomes notice you and give you, like, wary looks, and not untrusting work- looks, but you're, you're able to make it out without any, um, issues. issues or anything like that. And the next area, you walk through this long cavernous hallway type thing, and you get to this large area where you were before that has a lake in it. And... The out the the southern edge is isn't in water, and you can see the uh, Alcaro's lodge just to the far end. Um, we still have that emerald, right? The one that pushes back water. Yeah. Okay. Is it's it, constantly it, in use. Yeah, it's always active. Yeah. I think I remember it about that more. There's so many things we've given ourselves we don't keep track of. Yeah. Oh, Carl! I've really, up, <laughs> I've really upped my notes taking to try and keep track. Yeah, I'll share his name as I walk up to the lodge. And when I reach the door, I'll start banging on it fiercely. Okay, yeah. Uh, once you bang on the door, he opens the door and says, Oh, wasn't expecting to see you guys really ever again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen. Um, no, it's not a bad thing. I'm just surprised to see you down in the depths. 
Hey, again. remember how we we said, oh, have a good time, we'll make sure, yeah? Things yes. have gotten worse, only worse, so much worse. <laughs> we lost a couple more cities. Like, yeah. three. Which ones? Do you, does he know of Talthania? Yeah. Oh, uh, Eol, uh, Chun, and, uh, what was the other one? Maul. Maul. Eol, Chun, and Maul. And we think he's now heading for Klaus. It's not looking so good. And we need your help to get to other sections of the depths. We only have a way to get back to here. We need your sword. <laughs> <laughs> and my bow. Well, your knowledge. Like, is there any other way to get to another entrance of the depths? We don't really have time to go back up and then travel all the way to Ait and then find one northeast of Ait or it's go to Stillsby. And... Yeah, un- unfortunately, from all of the tunnels I've explored here and all of the caverns, there aren't any actual other sections of the depths that connect you here. Why is everyone so useless? <sighs> I've explored most of the caves and all of, most of the dead ends and most of the other hallways and stuff like that, and I've never been able to fi- find any um, any other sections of depths. Damn. Depths. There is one thing you could try. I would not recommend it. What is it? There is the large pit that... You guys would have had to walk past on your first time to the depths. <clears throat> the pit that there's like screaming and sounds of war coming from. And it goes deeper than the any depths I've ever been to before here. We must go there. No, nope, that's a no can do. That's, that's not where limits. we're planning to go though, Elendil. We're planning to get to another section of the depths, not go to the nine hells. <laughs> exactly. We're not going down there. Yeah, the only thing I think think of for there is you might be able to find other sections of the depths from there but, but without it's going down very very risky you'd have to go down no we're not doing that we'll yeah. find another one i would recommend not doing that there's a war or and other terrible things going on down there exactly terrible war bad things dead things or we're not going there we'll take we'll find another way thanks useless <laughs> You've gotten better over all this time, haven't you, Farron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always. Always improve. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> this absolutely sucks! Can you roll an intelligence check, please, for me? <laughs> Five. Five. <laughs> you hear the same voice in your head again saying, <clears throat> Oh, shit. Come. Come in here. Come. To the depths. And do you feel it originating from the direction of where the cavernous pit is? Very yeah. You'll do great with us. Come help us. You know you want to. Just come here. Yeah. Guys, we need to leave. We need to we need to leave this place now. We're going to find another entrance. From the surface? From the surface. I'll teleport us back out here. We'll take your... Uh, you still have that rock, right? Yes. One that'll teleport us. Where is it? Somewhere? To that cave with yeah, all the, the uh, runes and statues. Mm-hmm. Of the deities. Yeah. Wait... You have that still? Yeah. Oh, that's that's fucking perfect. Yeah. We get out. <laughs> Hell yeah, guys! So how convenient. Man, we got so much teleport magic lately. It's awesome. We leave Mister Useless here to rot. Okay, you don't okay. need to be so mean to him. Shut yeah. Up. Screw you too. Oh, Carl, don't don't encourage him with feedback. Just ignore him. He just uh, he's edge. in a bit of a funky just mood lately. <laughs> Ever, yeah. ever since he came younger again, it's been a... He's been a lot. Hey, not everyone's supposed to know that, you know. I go and I tip over his one of his wooden chairs in anger. I kick it. He just sighs. <laughs> Look, we're going to leave. We're going to go up to the, the normal place that doesn't keep talking. And then we're going to... <laughs> Sorry, what? Talking? Talking, yes. What's what do you mean? Yeah, explain yourself. Are you guys not being called like I am? Are, do you not hear voices? You've been living down here for a while. Do you not hear voices? I do not. <laughs> also, I don't fucking like you. <laughs> 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 
no no one no one talks to me down here yes i keep getting this voice in my head it's calling me to that spot that he's recommending we jump down which is a terrible idea you should not go down there. he yeah. simply said don't recommend but whatever listen fine then let's go go on let's go outside squeeze your rock let's okay. fucking go i pull it out and i squeeze it <laughs> okay <laughs> uh so that creates a portal uh would that lead us right back to where we were when we first escaped? Right next to that river? Yeah. yeah. So this creates a portal, and the portal opens up inside Alcaro's house. <laughs> like, it's actually right in front of Alcaro, but he's on the other side of it. <laughs> oh, good. We can't see him now. <laughs> <laughs> We're not taking Alcaro. I push Ryan Lazarus through, and I, I, I jump in with the left. You're not going to take his sword? No. That was the perfect time, dude. Oh, I'm good. Okay. So you I guys, learned my fucking lesson. You guys enter the portal and you come out on the surface near Haria, near where you killed all of the Shardana encampment. <laughs> right, all right. Uh, squeeze your rock now. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's bouncy poo. Uh, Make it easy. I yes, yeah, so I pull up my teleportation stone. I take it and I'm just like, uh, I give it a little shake. Okay. I give it a shake and all of you appear. Back in that shrine room in the cave near Ike. I just need a minute. That was a lot of like, boof, boof thing. So I'm a little woozy. Mm. Yep. Good to go. Uh, <laughs> so there's an entrance near here, right? Yeah, we know the, we know two of them. Which two? The same ones that Wizard pointed out? Yeah. yeah. Just two. Oh, which well, one's how, closest so now? You're closest to this one. Okay, so how far just is a it? couple um, mountains away. I love how... <laughs> a couple mountains away. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> how, how was that in days or hours? <laughs> I fucking love how but, that... The third uh, mountain around the left corner on the left. Mountain on the left. Ryan has a sense right now of exactly where to go. Because okay. it's the sense he felt before when he was in this cave. And do you have that sense too? Just uh, to a lesser degree. Right, so uh, Ryan can lead us? Like, how long of a yeah. journey is it? Uh, it'd probably be about a day's march. Yeah, because we don't have our cart anymore. Um, I love how we had that old wizard teleport us all the way down to Eel just to <laughs> only come back. Like, he just wished, like, it's, like, super... I know, but powerful. at the time, it felt like we had to go to Eel. Well... <sighs> I guess we get marching. And I was hoping, I didn't realize the depths weren't actually, like, it's, like, it's different sections. I thought we were, like, able to go from section to section. I did not realize that. Yeah. So, that's unfortunate. That's fine. Yeah, I guess we'll make a journey's trip this way. I mean, this is all happening one day. Yeah. A lot yeah. of teleportation. Yeah. We've been fucking cruising, <laughs> you guys. I love it. Let's keep up the momentum. On the trail we blaze. Is oh, anyone the- going to send a raven to Rumen? <laughs> Because they didn't ask if it comes to the <laughs> It's the same day, so he's probably yeah. like, still on the wizard's mountain. We'll right? probably pass him. <laughs> you know, we don't have a raven right now. We don't have... No. It takes time to write a note. <laughs> we'll leave it. Well, what is, again, what does my uh, wand of murder do? It, like, she's a bunch of, of crows. crows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not messenger birds, though. They wouldn't know what to do. Crows are pretty smart, dude. Dude, it's a mess. It's not a messenger bird, though. You can't be like, f- pick a yeah. random crow out of the thing. And be like, here's a note. Take it to where I want to go. It'll be like, okay, fine. I'm free and fly away. Messenger birds are trained. We got a nat twenty on that roll. Don't. <laughs> it requires a nat twenty. Do I try? I mean, it? is there really a risk to not trying it? I, I guess. Don't. Well. How many charges do I have with it again? Uh, it's like one. There are... It restores like every dawn, I thought. Yeah, it restores a dawn, yeah. and there are... Let's see, where is it? Um, two uses per day. All right, well, daily. Um, well, we, we don't, don't have any ravens, but I have that wand of murder, which is gross, but I mean, it's worth a shot, right? I mean, they're not... Train messenger birds, so you can. I guess you can try, but I doubt it'll do anything. They'll probably just fly away and dissipate, like the magic. Um, I'm gonna walk out of the cave, just okay. the entrance, and then I'm gonna pull up my wand of murder. I'm gonna give it a swish and a flick outward. Okay, roll a d20, please. Okay, here we go. If this happens, like this will make my life. <sighs> oh, an eight. Uh, what would it be plus? I are, don't you, know. uh, are you doing this in the cave or at the edge of the cave? No, the edge of the cave. Like, okay. I walk to the okay. end and I yeah. do it outside. Okay. Yeah, uh, eight crows just spew out of your wand. 
and just flap and they look at you and kind of circle around you and then see nothing really they just fly off i try and grab one before it goes okay i roll a dex check just straight dex yeah Yeah, i i hold out my hand and hoping that one of them would like land on it but Uh, seven yeah you're not able to get one fuck and then they just fly yeah, away. they all just fly away. Um, well, that was fucking fun. Let's just <laughs> second leave time's the charm. When I use the second one. Are you? F- I, I I'm ready to go this time to catch. I one. almost got a twenty. Okay, <laughs> I was very close. I'm ready to catch one this time too. I'm not paying attention Nine. to this. I'm leaving. I'm yeah, still trying to catch one. Uh, yeah, you can try. I was ready. I was and pouncing I out my arm. Fuck. Four. Uh, thirteen. You're not able to catch one. Yo, fuck this shit. Let's and leave again, him. The, was it six or nine? It was nine. This the time. nine flows the, crows this time. Again, just flurl out of your wand and just do a couple circles over where you're standing and then flap away. Cool, we've wow. completely fucked up this ecosystem. Let's just go to the <laughs> entrance. Let's well, just worth a shot. I mean... Wait! Oh my god. You have message. Just send a message with your amulet. That's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even fucking think of that. Well, how does that... Where do, like, the um, requirements and everything, like, what? how does it work? If it's with an item, you should just be able to do it. It has to be towards the creature within range. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, it's not... Oh, sending is the one that goes, like, forever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Never mind. Yeah, I'm already on my way. Following okay. the sense, I've left. There's nothing we can do. Fuck it. Yeah, we right. head on the trail, we please. Okay, so you guys start to make your way towards the where Ryan and Farron believe the entrance of the depths are, mm-hmm. and that's where we leave off on this episode of the Deal with Demons. We just went in a giant circle. Yeah, it's aw- yeah, that was whole, very fucking whole frustrating. Few sessions. Oh my god. How great was that?